Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and we're going to play American Truck Simulator again. Today we're going to go from, uh, we're in Abilene right now, we're going to go to Austin, Texas with uh, 40,000 pounds of soda ash we're going to go pick up. Um, we're in the uh, John Ruda's Glider 389 Peterbilt with his uh, trailer there with the Landstar skin on and then the gamer on each truck and skin on the truck. This thing that's a Detroit Series 60 with an 18 speed in it. Uh, I think it's a 3.08 uh, differential ratio. I'm not 100% sure but it should be somewhere right around in that area. But anyway let's jump in here get this thing fired up and we'll get on the road. Who got on the fuel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We we'll, we got enough. Okay. All right. I was driving the damn international earlier, and I forgot I had it on automatic. Good to go now, though. Yeah. All right. Let's go get loaded up with some soda ash. I did away with the GPS and the window in this thing because it's so dark you couldn't see it. I just went back with the one that was in the uh, dash. Lost a couple of gauges, but they weren't really all that important gauges anyway. It's totally fine. Another great adventure in American Truck Simulator. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Get ready to turn left. How's everybody been doing today? You guys been doing pretty good? Left. It's going good on my end so far anyway. Uh, let's see. I don't have problems with the game. It's been crashing. I hit certain cities. I think I got it fixed. We will find out. I hope I got it fixed because that shit's annoying. Get almost there and then the game keeps crashing at the same fucking spot. Down here in Texas. We're using Project Next Gen Graphics mods, 1.08.3 version. Um, I actually get better frames per second with the graphics mod. With the Get PNG, the product next gen graphics mods. Turn right. Let's see, it looks like we're going to be taking a left right up Get ready here. To turn left. Up there, be the next left. Door says swift. Turn left. Yeah. We can open swift terminal, I guess. Hmm. I should say getting loaded at the swift terminal. We're not picking up. This is where it ends. This is a live load load. Look at all the damn axles on that fucking trailer. Holy shit. It's probably got a whole bunch of toilet paper in it. My trailer of toilet paper does weigh quite a bit though. 
Especially because they don't put it on no pallet, so they just set it on the floor of the trailer and stack it as high as they can get it. The drive safe. All right. Looks like, um, yeah, we're going to Austin, Texas. We're we'll going to be dropping off the Swift Transportation. About 340 miles. Says 18 minutes real lifetime, six hours in game. Um, 39,683 pounds. I believe we're ready to roll. I hit the wrong button. All right. That off there. That off there. Okay, let's go uh, make some money. I gotta make even more money now. I stretched this damn thing out so it's longer than what it normally is. It's just the same white one that uh, in a previous video is the uh, 389 glider. It's a changed color. I stretched out, lowered it to the ground, and put uh, a smaller sleeper on it. try out that uh, version of the 1.48 of the game it's pretty cool I didn't get to use a lot of my graphics mods wouldn't work on it and some of my truck mods wouldn't work so we went back to the 4.7 which is what this one's on but they added like an ABS and traction control and then the collision warning system like what's in the Volvo they put that on some of the other trucks too um, I did quite a bit of stuff actually get ready to background information about me um, my real name is not Donnie it is Andy A-N-D-Y let's go by Gamer Donnie I've been by Gamer Donnie for a long time so Exit right. talking talking since uh, 2003 I think that's when I first started using Gamer Donnie I started off with Super Donnie and then it just kind of morphed into Gamer Donnie. But yeah. Um, I have drove a truck. I started driving in 2007 when I turned 21. The next day after my birthday, I went down and got my CDL. And started driving, drove for all the way until 2001. I got health problems that keeps me from driving now. So yeah, what, 14 years. Um, I drove for Swift, Snyder, J.B. Hunt, and did, and did and independent contracting. The Landstar. I did that for a long time. Um, the truck I drove the most was a Volvo VN780. Drove every truck except for a Western Star. 
first truck I ever drove was the old International 9800i Eagle. I don't believe that was a 2004 model. It was old and wore out and just a hunk of shit. <laughs> That's what they give you when you start off. They give you an old crappy truck and I throw you into a brand new one. Gotta work your way up. Just stick it out. About the best advice you can get. big companies they're going to treat you like shit because they don't really care about you but like I said just stick it out grind it out get your school and paid for move on to a different company if you're really not liking it you know, don't switch too many times because then it's going to look bad on your record thousand hours in American truck simulator this game has come a long way from when I very first started playing it go straight on different YouTube channels so one that done the most is um, my studio 3 teen 12 studios right. so with uh, 38 well last time I checked it was 38,000 viewers or subscribers I mean I don't use that channel anymore I haven't used it in years it's just a old compilation channel you know I used to just throw videos together and upload them That's how I bought this computer that I'm using now, which is, well, the original price was 5000 on it, but I got it for like uh, 3500 It was on sales. Last one I had in stock, and I was trying to get rid of it, so. But I've updated the video card to RAM and all that shit, and it's still a good top-of-the-line PC, so. That's what I needed to do. I would like to have a better video card, but I got the 3070 and that's good enough for me for now. I'm completely happy with it. I'm not trying to be no professional YouTuber career or anything like that. That'd be cool, you know, but that's not one. I just love, I enjoy playing the games and I share it with you guys. That's basically what this, what I do. Um, I think if you look back at some of the first videos I uploaded, I think they're the Minecraft videos. I have a, a lot of American Truck Simulator videos. You check on the playlists. I don't know right offhand or remember what the numbers are. There's quite a few of them there, though.
No one thing, the trucking industry sure had changed quite a bit from when I first started. We didn't have no GPS, electronic logs, or anything like that. Get you go to the truck stop and get you a big old atlas for about sixty bucks. Always got the laminated version one that seemed to last longer. Go straight on. I think I still have mine somewhere. Get you that and then you buy you a little book that has all the truck stops in it and the rest areas and everything. How you planned your trip out. Paper logs, didn't have no electronic logs. Automatic trucks were few and far in between. They're starting to come out, but there's only a few of them. I have nothing against automatic truck. I've never drove one in real life. I've always drove a standard, either a 13 speed, a super 13, or an 18 speed. Did drive over to what was I think it was an OC15 Chevrolet dump truck. It had a six speed with the two speed rear end in it. And that big ass gasoline engine. Truck driving has always been my dream job ever since I was like, like three or four years old. Uh, we lived in California in some apartments, and the apartment next to us, that dude used to have an old uh, Peterbilt 3879. He'd come home on the weekends and he'd take us out and drive around the town and then take us for a ride in the truck, me and my cousin. Ever since then, I knew that's what I wanted to do, so I did it. Turned 21, went straight down there and signed on with the company and paid for the schooling. The rest is history, really. Wouldn't trade it for anything. opportunities to lease a truck on with people and drive for them um, but I didn't ever do it though well until the last part when I started leasing got in with Landstar um, yeah I was company driver there for a long time I'd still be out there doing it, but fortunately that's something that I'm never going to be able to do again. loud this engine's by Z mods too it says Detroit series 60 keep left and then turn left used to have a little Turn truck left. driving dog she well, I got when I first started driving she's been by my side ever since but she passed away last year she's just old 
I had a picture of her in here, but I don't. I don't see. I don't guess I added it. That hurts. Somebody by your side for that long, and then. Part of life, though. after you need some ice cream. Never been in a wreck, never had to use a runaway truck ramp, I've never wrecked a truck. Well, I did have incidences, I guess you'd call them accidents, it's where people's been pulled out of parking lots and knock the mirror off the truck and shit like that but yeah I've never hit anybody or killed anybody or anything like that I was always a real cautious driver you not only have your own life but you got the life of everyone around you too in your hands so Companies don't like hearing, no, I'm not driving. They do not like hearing that. They'll knock you to the bottom of the totem pole. You'll get the shitty loads for a long time. But some things I just would not do. Call the mayor falls back on my ass because I'm driving the truck. In almost every state in the United States except for well New York I went through the bottom of New York New York and North I have never been Connecticut Vermont all that shit up there north of New York I went through the bottom of New York like I said but that was about it I would not drive through New York never been into Canada I have been into Mexico before across the border you know about what 60 miles across the border or so Well, I won't go in the wrong gear. They never do hazmat loads either. It's something I had no interest in whatsoever. I do not want to haul a trailer full of dynamite. And only get paid well I think it's like 10 or 15 cents more Exit no, right. it wasn't worth it not to me
some people ask me what I thought about the uh, new autonomous trucks and I don't know I'm really up in the air about them I think they'd be a good thing yeah but then again you know it's a lot of shit that the trucks are gonna have to compute in order to uh, stay safe out here on the road you can't predict what other drivers are going to do I think it's gonna be where they uh, their downfall drivers are unpredictable I do use them. I see them using them more for the uh, OTR, you know, long hauls instead of Keep left. short in town, in city loads. Don't haul them down in your state, probably drop them off at a drop yard. Then some other truck driver come pick them up and take them wherever they need to go, you know what I mean? I don't think they will ever 100% replace truck drivers. It's just, it's, I, can't, I just don't see it happening. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Long range. Straight on. As far as controllers are used for playing this jam, we use the Logitech G29 steering wheel, pedals, the Pro Shifter, I got the uh, side box. I do plan, plan on eventually getting a uh, track IR, a head tracking, and a shifting knob. Keep right and then my uh, gear right. shift. Exit right. Because right now I got the buttons for the high and low. Unless you're looking at the indicator that tells you what gear you're in, you don't know if you're in high or low gear. Cause there ain't no switch like normally in a truck you'd be able to tell the switch is up okay i'm in high range switch is down i'm in low range with the button you can't do that and that just throws me off quite a bit Don't let me go thank you left and turn left turn left turner turn right i've been here a couple times We used uh, almost a quarter tank of fuel. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. We're holding livestock either. Thing. I've done tanker and flatbed and so on. 
drive box, drive van, Find no him. boys. We are here. No oversized loads. I didn't ever do that. I oh, got a uh, World of Trucks VT VCT virtual VTC. There you go, virtual trucking company. It's a gamer Donnie truck, and you can find it on uh, World of Trucks. What's that? You can find it on Truck Books too, um, and on the Trucky. getting used to this thing being stretched out. But I went too far over. No, I didn't. That's good. Bam. Okay. Not perfect, but close enough. What the hell's your trailer shaking for? Trailers are rocking, don't come knocking. They're already done loading this shit. Oh no, what to push? The wrong button. There we go. 340 miles, 7 hours, 34 minutes, 62.1 gallons of fuel. $16,172. And we're level 42. Getting closer to 43. King of the road. Uh, so, I, there's a little bit of background about me, who I am, and uh, stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to. Forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.